Hey everyone, what's up? It's your girl Ashley and today I'm going to show you guys how to get this bloody Queen of Hearts look. I really enjoy doing it. This is my very first time using liquid latex and I would say that I really enjoyed it. I think it's actually really good and um, I think I just need to get some better blood. I did all my makeup on my face before the video so in this video I'm just showing you how to get this bloody gash card wound uh, on your head and I didn't really show the neck because it's literally the exact same process as this. What you'll need for the wound is some liquid latex. Today I used the Ben Nye one. So let's get to it. Hey y'all, what's up? Okay, so we're gonna get started. Obviously I did my makeup already. The only thing missing is some lashes. But first, I wanna get to the gory stuff. So we're gonna be using liquid latex by Ben Nye um, to create the gashes with the card sticking out of it. So yeah, we'll be using this. And some people use cotton balls, some people use Kleenex. I'm actually going to be using toilet paper because it's easy to rip it and, you know, yeah. So before we get to the latex, it's good to have a deck of cards ready so you're not scrambling for one with some latex on your face. <laughs> Since I'm going to be the queen of hearts, I'm going to be using only hearts for the cards on my face. Um, so I'm just going to find some. These are actually some from a casino, that's why there's holes in them. You might be wondering why I used some white eyeliner in this dual winged eyeliner look I made. I just wanted to keep the card aspect of it alive in the makeup, so the white line represents a white card. So instead of a crown, I will be using cards in my head as my crown. So for the crown, I want to make sure I get the Queen of Hearts in there because it's representative of the costume. And I'm going to get some more of the royal family in there, like the king, an ace. So it's good to pre- I look super pale in this lighting, but whatever. So it's good to pre-cut the cards to the shape of how you want it to be on your face. Make sure you have a pair of scissors to get this done because ripping it will just make it messy. So I'm going to be having the cards staggered across my head like this. Obviously if I use a full length it's going to go into where my eyebrows are so we're going to cut them. So I'll be putting these right here. So it's going to go like this. So I'm just going to use some eyeshadow to draw along a line of where I want to put the latex. That way it will be easier for me to arrange the latex that will fit the cards. So yeah, the latex is going to be covering this line. I could just use a pencil, but I forgot one, so I'm just using eyeshadow. So to apply the latex, I will be using this flat brush that I usually use to apply concealer. I love it because it's dense and it applies makeup evenly. So the Ben Nye liquid latex looks like this and it does have a brush inside it already as you can see but I think I'm just going to be using the brush and dipping it into the bottle. I'm just going to make sure I have no hair in the way, baby hair sometimes get in the way. Next we're going to put some tissue on it to create some texture and some layers. Okay, so the latex is dry. While I was bored waiting, I decided to put one right here, so I'm going to have a gash right here. Anyway, so now we can start putting makeup on this one. As you can see, it is dry. So I'm just going to be using my Bobbi Brown foundation that I use in every video. This is in shade 4.5, Warm Natural. And we're just going to get this gash to match my skin color, at least as close as we can. Of course there's going to be blood on it, so you don't have to make it too perfect, but just to, you know, make it look realistic, it's good to have it. Okay, so now we're going to cut the latex to make the cut. So we're just going to take some scissors and get in there. It kind of lifts up as you cut, so it's really easy. As you can see here, it's already opened. It doesn't have to be perfect because obviously this is a wound and there's no such thing as a perfect wound. So here you can see there is an opening. So this is what the cards will look like when they are in my head. I'm just making sure they fit. We're going to put some latex inside there so that the cards can kind of be held in with it, in behind them and in front of them and inside the gash. So we're going to do one card at a time. The first one will be the king because he's at the back right here. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm just using the latex on the card to hold it down and it's behind the card and in front of the card. And it's good to keep a little fold kind of open right here because it looks more realistic. Okay, so we're just going to repeat that for the other two cards. So while I was waiting for this crown right here to dry, I decided to do a little wound right here. I'm pretty proud of it. This is my very first time using liquid latex ever, and yeah, it looks pretty awesome. Okay, so now that the card crown is securely attached to my head, we can now add the blood. So first I'm going to use some dark eyeshadow, dark red eyeshadow, to darken the flesh right here. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be putting some liquid blood on it after. It's good to also use some, maybe some black to mix in with the red just to show some dried up blood because you know when blood dries it's dark. So now I'm going to use some red blood and we're going to use a blending brush to smear it on there. So we're going to make some droplets because the blood, I want the blood to kind of string down naturally. This will probably stain, so I recommend wearing a black t-shirt that you don't care about and then when the makeup dries, change your clothes um, to your costume because yeah, you don't want to wreck your costume. Unless, you know, it adds some authenticity to it, like putting some blood in your costume, but yeah. This looks pretty creepy. I like it. So I'm just going to take a clean brush and also add some more black eyeshadow just to create that dried up blood look as well. The black also kind of adds some texture to the look. Okay, I'm going to put a card right here. I wasn't, I wasn't planning on putting a card in this hole, but I think that will create some balance in the look. Yeah, I'm just going to add some more latex. Be right back. So while we're waiting for our neck gash to dry, I'll be putting on some lashes. We'll be wearing JC Luxury Lashes. This is a brand from Edmonton in Cardi. I'm using Cardi because they are really wispy and extremely long and perfect for a Halloween look as well as any ultra glamorous look so we'll be using these. These are ultra long and really pretty. I'll take the link for these lashes in the description below. I just love how they are here in Edmonton. Also this is my favorite lash glue, I don't know if you guys noticed, I've used it in like every single video. It's the Duo Black Strip Lash Glue, I like it because it's black. So it fits in well with my black winged eyeliner, which I have in every single look. So I'm going to finish up this wound. I'm basically going to do everything I did in this one just down here, and I'll be right back. So this is the final look. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Make sure to click on that subscribe button down below. And yeah, I hope you have a very happy Halloween and stay safe, get lots of candy and get creative. If you do this look, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. All the products I use are listed in the description box down below. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!